Hey guys, James here from TCG University. Come back at you with another deck profile. Today I'm going to be doing a deck profile on my Nomu deck pro profile uh, from our campus championship for the heroes versus villains format that we created. Uh, so this is the Nomu one. I actually really enjoyed playing this deck. Nomu's a lot better of a character than I originally thought he was. And I think playing him made me realize how much, how much I agree with my statement I made originally, which is I think a lot of characters in my hero format are very, very viable. Uh, so Nomu is a five hand size, 35, 35 vitality character. We played our deck under death. Uh, response, commit one foundation before the damage step of this unblocked attack, reduce its damage to six, and then enhance your non-throw attack gets a damage bonus equal to its printed difficulty. So we play a bunch of big damage attacks and double them with big difficulty. So that way we can push through. And then on defense, we make sure we don't take too much that we die. Uh, so we'll start off with uh, how it's our impact. Uh, it's a four low for six that says it gets negative two difficulty if we've destroyed a foundation for the turn. And then enhance destroy one foundation. This deck gets plus two speed. So basically with Nomu, if we destroy a foundation, it's a six low for 12, which is super, super strong. And if we make it a four diff and play it on the backside of an attack string, it can be super, super hard to block. Uh, one of our best leadoff attacks we're playing for, Berserker Blow. It's a four low for six or four low for 11 with Nomu. Uh, enhance, we destroy a foundation, and if it's not blocked, or I mean, if it deals damage, make sure I'm, it's, I always, this one's the one we always confuse. If it's not blocked, destroy one rival foundation. And since our character's normal, we get to build a card face down. Basically, we get rid of the things we have face down or committed to replace it with ready things so we can keep attacking. Uh, then deadlock enhance, we get to just destroy two foundations of our choice, which is also super, super strong. We are playing four long lasting explosion. This is a very good leadoff card. It's a five diff, so it makes it a five mid for 11 with Nomu. Uh, enhance if this, uh, uh, if the next attack you play this turn is a high attack, it gets three speed. And if it's a mid attack, it gets three damage. Uh, a lot of the times I ended up playing this into our howitzer impact cyclone, making this a six, six or six, 11 with Nomu. Uh, it's powerful three and combos with a fury, which all of our attacks on our deck are fury. Uh, combo enhances, you get to add the top cover deck to our momentum. And then our normal enhances, we destroy a foundation to draw a card for each of our momentum. The idea is Nomu is a five-hander, so sometimes drawing attacks is very hard to do. And this card kind of circumvents that by allowing us to see more cards in a turn. And then the last stack we're playing is for Merciless Rush. It's a four high for five with the EX2. That says it gets negative one difficulty if we have less hand size than our opponent. And then enhance, if this attack is completely blocked, our opponent destroys one of their foundations, which is super strong because who wouldn't want to block a four high for 10? On the foundations, we're playing two capabilities uh, because of things like our how it's our impact cyclone and the fact that you're not gonna be able to continuously block on zone the entire game, most likely. Capabilities is a very strong card that says commit, discard momentum. Your fury attack, which like I said, everything is a fury, gets plus two speed and plus five damage. So not only is it giving us basically an entire no moves ability worth of damage, but it's also pushing on speed, which is something that I feel like Nomu lacks, but obviously he's a character that's supposed to push a lot of big damage. We're also playing four excited for blood. We have a lot of health and we like to face tank things. So being able to gain some of that back is very nice. And then on hit, we can pay two to draw a card, which as a five hander is also very nice. Has a nice two high block if for whatever reason we also need to block with it. Uh, to push damage and keep us out of deadlock, we are playing for brute strength, pay one to give a damage, destroy a foundation to give a damage, has a nice two high block if we need it. Uh, hard check sixes, we're playing League Interview. It's a two six with the first form that says, uh, discard the top two cards of the deck, your next check to play an attack gets plus one. Uh, not only does this help us pass checks on the first attack of the turn, but it also checks us a six, which is very, very nice makes it less likely for us to have to commit things on block or commit things on our tax strings. Uh, for more, I wanted more momentum output. So anytime we touched our opponent, we had a lot of momentum. Uh, we're playing for self propulsion. propulsion. Uh, it's basically a response after a combo, fury or powerful attack, which all of our attacks are either of those three, all of, the, all of them being fury, obviously. We get to add this card specifically to our momentum. So we'd add that attack and that momentum have a lot of cool momentum to do for the turn. Uh, this one didn't see as much play and I probably wouldn't play it in the future. I'd probably try to find something else to replace it with. But I like the idea I was going for because I obviously wanted to push more damage and push more momentum to make Howitzer Impact Cyclone worth it. 
we it just didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. Uh, super region, easy. If we take three damage, we gain three health. Like I said, lots of health we take, lots of health we have, and lots of health we take. So keeping our health up is very nice. Uh, four agitation. I think this card is a must in our Fury deck right now. Uh, commit after your Fury attack is blocked to get the draw card. And a five-hander, this card is nuts. Uh, especially when uh, we have very big damage attacks that our opponents are going to want to block. This just allows us, if we don't draw attacks, to at least build better defenses to have better cool turns the following turn or just live other turns. Uh, to push speed, we are playing four Nervous Habit. Pay one for a free speed. I say free, but pay one for a speed. Uh, super good card. Kind of also has a very good anti-stun ability as well. Uh, to try and push, we are also playing four Villainous Interests. Uh, commit your Fury attack at stun one. Again, everything's a Fury. So having everything that we can give it for stun one is very, very good. And when we have things like uh, Berserker Blow, where we can give this stun one and then blow this up to build our foundation, it's a really neat combo. And then four, let's fight bad guys. Uh, flip your fury attack gets plus two speed. Uh, super good card, gives all of our attacks speed. They don't already have EX like, um, what's the other one? Like Merciless Rush, but gives speed to the other ones that need it. Uh, defensively, we are playing four shock absorption. Uh, destroy, minus two speed, playable while committed. Super easy card. And four surviving the final as a spam. Uh, there's like no spam in this deck like 12, 16 spam. Uh, surviving the finals. Uh, once per turn, this attack gets minus one speed. Super easy. It's a zero div. has a three high block. Makes it to where we can play a bunch of cool big attacks in our turn and still kind of build at the afterwards. Okay. Thanks for checking out the profile, guys. Like I said, I was very impressed with how Nomu performed. I, uh, Not that I underestimated him. I just kind of felt like he would have fallen behind. But after playing this deck, I had a, a lot of fun ideas I wanted to test with this. And I think uh, going forward, especially with the new promos that they uh, sneaked out, the previews for, I think it's Plus Ultra, Set 3, or the something like that. One of those promos are very, very useful in this in this style of deck. And I'd like to see how it's going to work out with everything. So let me know what you guys think about my deck profile down below. If you like the deck, uh, tell me. If you don't, tell me. Make sure to check out the other profiles and the other videos in the series. Uh, if you want to show support, go to patreon.com slash TCG University. And as always, guys, stay learned.